Hey guys, I hope your day's going awesome so far. But anyway guys, today I want to discuss why video games piss me off and why they're complete scams. And right now you're most likely saying something like, Louie, you play video games in every video, you fucking retard, hypocrite, unsubbed, kill yourself. So before you put something like that in the comments section of this video, please just let me explain, okay? Because I just really don't want to get murdered by the internet. Because I personally would prefer to die in a less painful way. You know, maybe something like burning to death. But anyway, in this video I'm not going to be saying stuff like video games are bad or fuck video games, okay? I just want to point out some stuff that really pisses me off and should piss you off too. But anyway, this is a rant, so it's time to insert a clip of He-Man in the background with some well-known music playing over the top of it, with some text saying something like, pay to win. I'm Larry Art Hauer, and I'll refrain from touching my neighbor's kids again. Ha, fucking knew it was gonna say that. But anyway, the first thing I want to talk about is pay to win games. And to anyone who doesn't know what a pay to win game is, it means you can basically spend your money on the game to get ahead of everyone else who plays it. And this is a very common thing in MOBA games nowadays. And for people wondering also what a MOBA game is, well, it's a multiplayer online battle arena, MOBA, also known as an action real-time strategy arts, is a genre of strategy video games that originated as a sub-genre of real-time strategy, in which a player controls a single character in one of two teams. And this would usually be games like Smite or Hearthstone. And usually MOBA games will say free to play. But spoilers, they're fucking not. So instead of just saying free to play, play on these games, I think they should say something like, free to play, and then have a little blurb underneath saying, if you don't spend money on this game, you will suck dick at it. You know, just a little disclaimer for all the people who aren't going to spend money on their shitty game, so they can just really understand what's going to happen if they do play the game and don't spend money. But all in all guys, I think pay to wins mainly cancer just because of the fact that someone who spends money on the game can basically instantly be better than the person who spent days on end playing it. Which is just a complete fuck system. And also, pay to wins never actually gonna disappear and you want to know why that is because it's literally a money-making machine and if you're gonna play a game where you can basically buy your way to the top it is actually pointless so my advice to you would be just stop playing it but if you choose to ignore my advice today all I gotta say is prepare to become a neckbeard Vernon Douglas is my name my battery arrest is what brought me fame now DLC for a game is basically a scam and I'm not talking about free updates for the game which add more content and usually improve the game for the better I'm talking about these bullshit paywalls that people somehow have been made to tolerate over recent years called DLC. Now granted, not all games will do this, but most of the really popular games will, just to squeeze every last penny they can out of you. And all the people over the age of 12 might remember the fact that they used to buy a game, and it never came with some bullshit on the side of the case saying, call this number and pay 12 99 and we'll give you the rest of the CD. And you want to know why that never happened? Because it's just fucking stupid paying for extra parts of the game that they took out of it, just so you can get the experience of playing the whole game. And this whole paying for DLC idea came from slippery, slimy game developers who were getting a tiny little bit too money hungry. And if you play directly into one of these developers' hands, you're basically going to buy all the DLC that gets released for the game. And some of you guys are probably saying, yeah, I buy all the DLC, what's your fucking problem? And my response to that is, just think of what you could have actually spent that money on. You could have actually bought another whole game for about the same amount of money you just spent on that one game alone. Or I mean, you could have even bought yourself a low-end prostitute for the day with the money. But also, another thing I'd like to bring up about DLC is, they will also try to market to you these things called Seasons Passes, and what these basically entail is, they'll put all their DLC into a one-time purchase package, and you'll save yourself like fucking two dollars. But this is actually worse than buying all the DLC separately anyway, because if you choose to buy the DLC separately, you can kind of have an idea of what you're getting into. But the thing about Seasons Passes is, you can't pick and choose what DLCs you want or not. So even if the DLC is a pile of shit, you've still paid for it and you're still gonna receive it. So to anyone who goes out and buys a season's pass after hearing this, I really hope that the two dollars you saved were worth it you cheap fuck. And also personally if I was you, I'd take those two dollars and go down to my local supermarket and buy a bag of ice so after you take an intense fucking from the game company, you have something to kind of subside the pain. I'm Charles Dolan, dropping rhymes. I've been arrested seven times. Now my next point I want to bring up is pre-orders. But anyway, a pre-order is basically the same as a season's pass in the sense that you're spending money on something, which is basically a complete and utter gamble. Because nobody except the game developers can actually promise you the thing that you've bought is going to be any good. And there's a very high chance that the game developers are going to most likely lie to you just to make you buy their game. Also, as an incentive to pre-order, they'll offer some sort of pre-order bonus. And this can usually be like a map or a skin in the 
game, and most of the time the actual game has better maps and skins in it already, so pre-ordering is basically pointless unless you want to hand over your money before you even see the final product. And I would just say it's a complete pointless gamble. And also, if I didn't mention already, unlike getting a Seasons Pass, you don't save yourself those sweet two dollars off to go towards an enema kit that you're gonna need before you take a fucking from the game companies. So just to round up my point on pre-orders, I'm gonna say, just don't fucking pre-order, okay? But instead, wait until the game actually comes out, see what people say about it, and then make the decision whether you're gonna buy the game instead, instead of just handing over your money and taking a complete fucking gamble with these pre-orders. Hey everybody, I'm Laura Hughes, proving girls can do it too. Now guys, I wanna talk about early access games, and what an early access game basically is, is it's a game in its early stages of development where you can play it and test it out for yourself, but there's one fucking huge problem with this. These games aren't fucking just free to play sort of demo type things, they will actually cost you close to the same price tag as a AAA title game that's been fucking released. And I have a question, fucking why? This just means developers can be lazy pieces of shit and not even finish a game before they start making money from it. So since they're getting paid just to release a buggy unfinished piece of shit, it makes more and more developers want to actually take the same route as this. And this has actually happened so much now that Steam has actually made a genre just for early access games. Also, one of the early access games that still amazes me that it's being worked on, and it's total bullshit in my opinion, is DayZ. And you're probably wondering why I'm bringing it up. But to any of you who don't know, this game has been in early access since its release. And do you want to know when that was? Back on the 16th of December 2013. I mean, it's been three fucking years and it's still not finished. Like, how the fuck is that even possible? I mean, did all the game developers just die or some shit? Like, why the fuck is this taking so long? Oh, but they have to program the weather system and they have to program the zombie AI. I don't give a shit, okay? Just put the game into fucking beta at least. That would be a godsend by itself. I mean, all you have to do is program a shitty zombie game. But anyway, this example alone I hope is enough to basically tell you not to buy early access games and give the game developers an actual reason to want to actually complete a game and not just slap early access on it and never finish it. Last name Berm Hope, first name Mark. I'm moving in somewhere on your block. Now, in my conclusion today, I just want to say I don't hate video games. Even though they'll try to pull a bunch of shit on you, I actually fucking love them. But in this video, at least, I hope I've pointed out some of the types of shit game companies will try to pull on you. But anyway, guys, I hope you did like the video today, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Yeah.